some great pictures from earlier this week of the sunset and also some excellent weather. This is from Rick Comer. This was, I believe, on Thursday evening here in Charleston. Excellent view of the Capitol and also that nice orange sky as well as we finally have that southern time weather pattern around our region in addition. So the clouds are definitely starting to thicken up tonight. It was a nice and warm sunny day, but that does mean it's a little bit unstable out there and that brings the potential for some scattered showers and even thunderstorms. Now we had a couple complexes earlier. This one in the southeast Ohio, which kind of weakened out as it moved into our northern counties and a few showers have also dissipated into Kentucky. But what we're seeing is we're developing thunderstorms into southern Indiana and this will make its way into Kentucky tonight and also into West Virginia during the really late night hours once we've all gone to bed definitely going to be a rumble of thunder or two out there so you could be woken up if you're sleeping this evening with those storms especially in those really late night hours as well but the driving force for our weather pattern is another cold front back into the great lakes region low pressure it's going to start to make its way in on sunday and that could also set off another round of some scattered showers and storms for tomorrow but for the rest of tonight things look pretty good out there a warm evening, just like I mentioned, with some cloud cover and then some scattered showers developing early in the evening, particularly about the 11 o'clock hour before more active weather comes in in the late night hours once we go to bed and those lows into the 60s. So for the rest of tonight, here's what we got. A lot more cloudy than what we had for today. And again, no severe weather for this evening, but heavy rain. We're going to see some heavy rain start to make its way into the western counties after midnight and then into our southern counties by about 2, 3 in the morning. Kentucky getting pretty active there with some heavy rain, showers and storms, and even a few showers into the southern coal fields. Remaining warm and humid, and these could be some pretty heavy downpours here by 4 or 5 in the morning into southwestern parts of the state and making its way into Charleston early. But the good news is no real severe weather threat with this. By the afternoon, though, that's when we start to see an increase in the thunderstorm coverage. A little bit of clearing for Sunday morning, so not completely wet for Sunday. A little bit of clearing here in Charleston, Huntington around lunchtime. But then as we get into the afternoon, that's when we start to see these shower and storm chances increase. And even into the evening hours, not going to be completely dry for tomorrow evening by any means. The exact location is still questionable. But for now, let's go with the thunderstorm here in Charleston about 8, 30, 9 o'clock tomorrow. And some of those could contain some gusty winds, some lightning, and some heavy rain as well. So we start off Monday, a nice and comfortable morning morning into the 60s there for Monday morning, but then a quick warm up into the 80 degree range by the afternoon for some very warm summertime weather. Here's your severe weather outlook. That's a marginal risk. The green area, the dark green is the number one chance for an isolated wind gust with those storms late tomorrow. But the significant severe threat does remain to our east in the mid-Atlantic, which is good. And a good soaking of rain possible here, even through Monday, over an inch of rain to close to two inches of rain with those heaviest thunderstorms out there. Rainfall and local flooding is a possibility with any storms. The hottest day of the year possibly on Wednesday. In the 90s, plenty of sunshine ahead of some afternoon and evening showers and storms heading into the end of the week.